Hey guys, before we get started with the tutorial, I just want to come on and say that I am not a mini album expert, that I have watched a lot of YouTube videos, mostly coming from Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, which designed, I think, the book, and then also from John Ford, who has his methodical approach to cutting and providing some of the measurements that I'm going to give you when making the binding but I wanted to refer you to those YouTube channels and if you have any questions just leave them down in the comment section below and also please go and visit Rosa Kelly scrapbooking and John Ford's YouTube page <music> So we're here with our one book and we're actually going to put this aside. I put the other one up because we're only going to work on one actually in this video. And now it's time to actually cut. I have all of the instructions for what I'm going to cut here on this paper. I will also upload this as a PDF so that you can download this yourself. But what I did do was that I used what I cut out of chipboard. You got photo mats. This is what's going on your left cover. This is what's going on your right cover. And it continues on to page two. And then also my designer papers, I'm adding what it is that I actually cut from the designer papers when I get there. So first thing we're gonna do is whatever color you're going to make your base pages, you want to get those papers and for right now i have 11 of those and if the number changes i will let you know i have 11 pieces that are eight and one half by 11 and then i also have one piece that's a four size it's actually nine by 12. so it's a little bit bigger you can see here and a little bit bigger here and the only reason i need this is to cut my right top and bottom flap and it's toward the bottom so I'm just going to keep it on the bottom of my stack so that I don't cut it prematurely so again you can go print these instructions so you can have them as I'm doing this part three of the mini album all right so let's get ready to cut we're going to use our pencil because we're going to be writing what each of these pages are. Now remember, I do this in bulk so that when I'm doing one step, I do it six times so that I'm not doing all of this work just for one album. So the left cover needs to be nine inches by seven inches. So I'm going to put my paper down here on the nine inch and I am going to cut. I have to rotate it because it's eight and a half and I want to cut it at seven. So we have scraps and we're going to have a lot of scraps and I'm going to show you what I do with those more toward the end of this video series, more toward the end of the video series. So this one here that I just cut, every time you cut, you want to mark what it is. And this is the left cover pouch. So I just put LCP. And then I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to make a stack over to my right. The next one is my left main flap and it's cut eight inches by seven inches. So I am going to cut this at seven inches rotate it and cut eight inches and I'm just going to be sliding all of my scraps there you're going to see that pile really really grow 
and this is our left main flap. Place it face down in my pile. For the waterfall, I'm going to need four pieces. So I'm going to take four pieces of paper. One, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four. I'm just double checking. And this we want to cut at seven by six and a half. So I'm going to cut six and a half here. Rotate and cut seven. These are all left water fall. Put those in the stack. The last thing we need for the left side is a band to hold our book in place. Now I have that the band is cut at three fourths, three and three fourths of an inches long. You can make them any size you want. So if you wanted to use all of your scrap and you just wanted to make some, I just cut these four pieces off. I'm gonna cut this into one and a quarter. And then I can just leave them at this size or if I wanted, I could just cut them. I'm going to cut two at three and three fourths. So they technically can be any size that you want. This would be scrap. I'm just going to go ahead and keep two long just to experiment with later, but I'm only going to use the one here. And then on this, I'm just going to put left waterfall band. It's in the pile. Okay, now we're on to the right side. We need a right cover pouch, which is the same size as the left cover pouch. So if I was cutting this and I already knew that, I would have cut those at the same time, but I didn't want to confuse you in this video. So we're going to go ahead and cut this one nine by seven. So that's nine, rotate it around to seven. This is right cover pouch. Next we have a flap that opens to the left. It is eight by seven and one fourth inch. So I'm going to cut this at seven and one fourth inch. Rotate and cut at eight. This is right. First flap. So right first flap. Put into the pile. The second flap attaches to the right and it is eight by seven. So I'm going to cut this one into seven inches. Rotate and cut at eight. This is right. Second flap. So I just write that on there with pencil so I can see it. The third one is another flap. It's cut eight inches by seven and one eighth. So that's what I'm going to cut this next one at. Seven and one eighth by eight. You see, some of these measurements are really similar, so that's why you do need to mark them. Actually, I have a bag that I actually put mine in, but we're gonna mark them for right now. This is our right third flap. Next, we come to the top and bottom. No, we're at the fourth flap, which is 
the fourth flap attaches to the third and again it's the same size as the eight by seven for the second one so i would have cut these all at the same time as well so that's seven I'm gonna rotate it and cut eight this is our right fourth flap Okay, now we're at that last piece of paper here that we're going to cut our top flap and our bottom flap. And we also need a central pocket. And so we're going to use this piece to cut two pieces out of. Both of those pieces are going to be six and a half inches wide. So that's what we're gonna cut. Six and a half inches wide, scrap. We're going to rotate it and cut a six and a half inch square. This piece I'm just going to sit here for a second and I'm going to cut my next piece which is six and a half by five. So I already got a six and a half tall so now I just need to pull this to five and cut. And this is where we need that piece that's at least 11 and a half inches tall so we're just basically cutting off a half inch okay so this is my first piece this is my right top flap and this is my right bottom flap so I have both of those into the stack the last piece we need is a piece for your central pocket and I'm going to use a scrap for that. Anything that is wider than three inches and I need to cut it at seven and a half or a little bit less. So it's gonna be like seven and seven sixteenths. So the first thing I wanna do is cut off a three inch strip. Three inch strips cut off. Now we're gonna rotate and we're gonna cut seven and a half and then just slide it back just a little. And the reason why they do that is because they don't want the score lines to end up on the spines of your abdomen. If you're gluing anything to the spine or in the crease area of the spine, your book will not fold. So that's why they want you to back off a little bit on this one particular center pocket. All right, so for right now, this is all that we need cut. I'm going to go ahead and label this right center pocket and put it over in the pile. Okay. Now before we get started, I do want to acknowledge that you do have a lot of waste here in the black cardstock trimmings. Now you could add more things to your album to use some of these. I'm going to actually be die cutting some of these things and using them as outlines for like different shapes that I'm going to be cutting so I will be showing you more on that later but I just want to let you see the entire pile of scraps that I have made because you will make scraps this is our stack that we had that I piled over on the right they're just in order not necessarily laid the right way but now we're going to do scoring so I am going to actually score with my labels up. So for the first one, this is the left cover pouch. We're gonna score one half inch on three sides. You want one long side and two short sides. We're gonna score. I'm trying to see if I'm scoring. I can't see because it's at an angle, but it is. <laughs> Okay, so half inch on three sides. And you can barely see the score marks here, but they are there. And then we're gonna come back to that, so we're just gonna lay it into the stack. This is your left main flap on the seven inch side at the top. So the seven inch side at the top, we wanna score one half of an inch. This is your left waterfall pieces, seven inches 
at the top we want to score at one half inch this is going to be on all four of those pieces so that's one that's two three last one four now we've got the left waterfall band we're actually going to score one half inch you're going to put your three and three quarters up at the top and going to score half inch across the short side this is my right cover pouch and this one we're going to score on three sides again the two short sides one long side one half inch all of my scores so far have been one half inch this is your right first flap and with seven and one fourth on the top we want to score at one half inch and three quarters of an inch so one half inch twice and now I'm in the three quarter so we've got a one quarter of an inch gap I'm hoping you can see that right second flap seven inches on top score at one half inch right third flap seven inches seven and one eighth on top I'm sorry seven and one eighth on top we're going to score at one half inch and then five eighths of an inch so it's going to be very skinny just one eighth in between so I'm going into the eighth now and I will show you that as well you can see how thin those little score marks are there right fourth flap seven inches on top we are going to score just one half inch right bottom flap and right top flap right top flap is a six and a half inch square so it doesn't really matter how or where you score it you're just going to score on the top one half of an inch so I just turned it so that the score was at the top this is our bottom and so we're going to score so that we have a score along this area so that means that we want the five inch on top and this is going to be the bottom flap and then we've got the right central pocket and we want to score this where we've got the three inch on top we're going to score on three sides on the long side we're going to score a half inch and two short sides we're going to score half inch because this is going to be a pocket right there so we've done all of our scoring for our pages We've got them back in order here. I'm going to move out my scoreboard for right now. Bring in the tape because now everywhere that we scored, we're now going to add tape. So we're going to start with our left cover pouch. And we're just going to add tape. And you don't have to go all the way out to the corner on this because we're going to cut those corners off. Anytime you have a pocket, we score on three sides. Well, for these style of pockets, you can score on three sides. And then you're going to cut the corners off. So you have less bulk. So this is our left cover pouch. And then I'm going to turn it to the wrong side. 
cut the pockets diagonally to get rid of the bulk right up to the edge of that highlight we're then going to come back with our bone folder and make sure that this tape is stuck to the paper now you could also glue here but for me it was easier for me to use tape um, because the glue might run and if your glue runs you can always just use some kitchen paper towels which you'll probably see me using in some future videos when I start taping down my paper and then this is the left main flap and I've just put the tape on this is the left waterfall you need to have tape up at the top left waterfall band we just have that little half inch piece down here that we scored now we're on to the right side this is the right cover page this is the one that's kind of made up like a pocket so we're going to you know put tape on three sides you don't have to go all the way to the ends but sometimes it just gets stuck there and it's just easier to just use a little waste and I didn't get that one down far enough we'll see what I need to add later and then this page here and this is an important step and I just want to make sure that you all pick up that I'm using my phone folder to activate this glue every time. Oh, and then this page here is the one where we need to flip to the other side and cut through the corner just to get the corners off two sides. So yeah, we're okay with glue on that once I cut. And now we are going to the right first flap. And I should put that on this side. I wrote it on the wrong side. And we are going to, this is the one that has the one half and three quarter markings. And we're just going to put the tape on the one half like we've been doing all the others that extra is a gusset for your book because you're going to have pages coming in on it and so it needs that room for the gusset okay so that's one this is the right second flap right second flap my camera cut off I didn't do anything else so we're gonna varnish that down put you in the pile right third flap is the one that has the one half and five eighths and we're just going to put the tape on the one half so I opted to use three eighths of an inch tape instead of one half so I wouldn't have to worry about going over the score lines so you can decide what size tape you want to use as well this is right fourth flap we're almost done prepping
right top flap, right bottom flap. We're going to do both of those. Then the last one is the right center pocket. Put tape on the bottom and the two sides. Since it's a pocket, we're going to turn it over and cut off the two bottom corners for less bulk. I didn't pull out my cover pages, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out those first. Things I might want on the outside. So I've got one, two. So if I'm cutting six books, I want to get out 12 pages. And I had some already pulled out that I wanted to use for the cover. I have already cut all of my printed paper. I actually cut it on film, but it was a little bit confusing. So I decided that I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to confuse anybody. So what I have here is everything that I have cut. So I want to tell you that I did go ahead and cut a piece for my outside spine because I want to cover it before I put the covers on the outside. So I cut a piece that was two and a half inches wide. I scored one side and the reason why I'm not going to tell you where to score is because it depends on how much of a gap you've left in here as to where you need to score so I scored one side which was this side here and then I put that on my book and then I just went to the back and made a fold and then made a mark so that I would know where I need to score my back side. And this piece is cut eight inches long. So this will be put on here. And I wanted to put it on before I put my paper on top because I wanted this to wrap around the book and help strengthen the spine. And that was the only piece of black paper that I cut. For the designer paper, I cut two pieces that were 8 by 8 These are going to go on the outside, front cover, and back cover. You need two of those for one book. Here, I need one piece. Actually, you need two of these. If you want to put this on the outside of your spine, you can do that. I wasn't sure if I wanted a print piece or if I wanted to put a label piece. So I have not put these on any of my spines on the outside yet. But I probably will in the end after I decide how I want to label them. But this is actually going to go inside the book. So you technically would need two of these. And they are cut 7 eighths of an inch by 8 inches. These here are going to go on the inside of your binders, like so. These two pieces are cut two and a half 
by seven and seven eighths. And I made those a little smaller because we're gonna have those pocket pouches that are going to sit here and we wanna make sure that we can get inside of those pocket pieces. Next thing on the left side, you're gonna need two pieces that are cut. Three and one half by six and one fourth. Now you need 10 pieces this size. And what you could do is take about three sheets because you'll get three, no, you'll get four of these out of each sheet. So if you need 10, then you'll end up with 12 pieces that you can choose from. Me, since I cut from four or six binders, because I like to utilize my paper as I'm cutting. So I have lots more choices to choose from. And I even have more than this, but I just didn't want to overwhelm everybody with the paper choices. So I just stopped there. So you actually need 10 of these and then you'll have this set here already cut. And then for your waterfall pages, you need a total of nine pieces that are cut six and one fourth by one and seven eighths. That's this stack here. For the waterfall band, these two pieces here are cut one by three inches. Now optional, you, when you put your waterfall together and you will see it, you need some strips that are cut six and one fourth by three eighths of an inch. And we'll talk about that later. These are totally optional and I have it on the book as well on the instructions as being optional. These other eight pieces go on your right flaps. They are the three and one fourth by six and one fourth, same size as those. This piece here is one and a half by six and a fourth. You're also going to need another one and a half by six and a fourth. So I just go ahead and cut both of those at the same time. They can even be the same paper if you want. And then also I have two pieces that are six and one fourth by one half inch. And you could combine these into one piece that you can cut like one and a quarter, but I just wanted more paper on my page, so I just decided to cut it into two pieces. This here is six and one fourth by four and one fourth is for your top, I mean your bottom flap. These pieces are for your top flap, bottom flap. And then you've got your center page pocket in the middle. This goes inside the pocket, and this is on top of the pocket. So those are the pieces that you need to cut. I just wanted to come back and reiterate that because I didn't want to confuse you all. So I already know I'm not gonna show you the video of me cutting because I actually was cutting for six books. And it could be a little confusing as to what I was doing because I was cutting my larger pieces first. I wasn't cutting them in the order of need. So I am actually going to stack all of this stuff up and we are going to go to some place where I can sit down and show you how the rest of this is put together. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.